What's up guys, it's Black Scout Survival and today we're going to be talking about counter tracking in an urban environment. And let's first talk about why this is maybe important. Uh, may, there's a few reasons why. One, you may be trying to lose uh, someone trying to harm you, uh, criminal opportunity or, or whatnot, you know, they may find you as a target. The other thing is an escape and evasion situation where you're trying to flee, you've been captured, you've escaped, and now you're trying to evade them. Uh, the group that's trying to follow you or snatch you back up. You also could be trying to lose a surveillance detail for some odd reason you're being surveilled or it could be you know private investigators looking at you for some reason. The other thing is is it could be just something as stupid as uh, trying to lose a psycho ex-girlfriend or something like that or some stalker. Uh, these are just going to be techniques that you can apply to get yourself out of danger. And <clears throat> Let's first talk about the advantages and disadvantages. Urban and wilderness environments, uh, you employ two extremely different types of counter tracking techniques. And you know, both of them have their pros and cons. You know, you can't see tracks on pavement on the sidewalk. So that's one benefit. But you, you also have your cell phone and debit card that could, you know, track you along anywhere. So, you know, there's pros and cons to it. So let's talk about some techniques. First, let's say that you know most all humans are uh, ha uh, creatures of habit. We have routines. We do it just because it's our nature. Uh, in a situation awareness situation, you know, or application, I'd say to make erratic movements every day. Don't do the same thing any day. Leave at different times. Take different routes. You know, but in a tracking scenario you want them to know your routine because when they know your routine they're going to get complacent they're going to be like well he's going to be at the gym for from 11 to 12 you know he's going to be eating lunch at 12 30. so they're going to get complacent they know your routine if you start deviating from that routine they're going to track you even harder and do you want a complacent track tracking detail or a super amped up because they think you're doing trying to do something shady or, or whatnot you know, you want them to be complacent. So let them know your routine, because this is how you're going to fool them. But uh, the government uses an acronym to help identify surveillance in our trackers, and it's known as TED. And it's time, environment, distance, and demeanor. And let's kind of talk about these for a second. This acronym is used to basically identify that you are being surveilled or tracked. And how, how that is, is because if you see the same person for numerous times during the day, you know, for an extended amount of time, they're probably tracking you. If you see a person in different environments, let's say you're at the gym, you're at uh, the pizza parlor, and you're at the uh, mall, and you see the same person in all these three different places, they're tracking you. If you see uh, someone, you're in, in Seattle, Washington, and then uh, later in the day you're uh, across the border over in Oregon, and you see the same person again. And demeanor is going to say that someone just looks out of place, that he looks suspicious, he's out of the baseline. And, and so these are indicators that somebody's tracking you, or who your trackers are, or how to easily identify them. So there's two things you can do to basically lose trackers um, you can one you can you know lose them by um, taking on something known as a cleaning run and I'll go into de detail about that or you could just use confrontational techniques and basically burning them letting them know hey I know you're tracking or surveilling me one way is being you know hostile go up and take pictures of them because uh, they don't want you, I'm sure they don't want you to have pictures uh, photographs of someone that's surveilling you probably for some reason to do you harm or some problem another thing is to go up to a local law enforcement officer if you're on foot or flag one down and tell them hey this guy just threatened me that will keep him tied up or them tied up for quite a while so you can Oscar Mike and get out of there so those are just a couple of computational techniques you know you can also use choke points get them in choke points and stuff like that uh, but losing them let's talk about cleaning runs cleaning runs is a type of trade craft and basically it's, it's uh, making transitions into different types of transportation, different places, and, and losing them. One, one uh, of the 
best, I guess, ways to uh, describe it in, in a scenario form is to say, you know, you leave your house in a in your personal vehicle, you go to the mall, you park your car, you go in the mall. You already have contacted a, an associate, not a close friend, because they'll probably be tracking those two or family member, and, and they'll know that uh, you've actually hooked up or connected with them. But use something like a burn phone or something like that, connect uh, with an, unknown, uh, an unknown associate, get them to meet you at a, another exit at a certain time, you move through the mall, get to that exit, and, and you know, go ahead and leave. You can then take that to a uh, downtown area, get on a taxi, get off taxi, get on a bus, get on a, a subway or tr tram or whatnot, and just make moves and transitioning. It, if you do that, you will lose your trackers or surveillance detail. I mean, it's gonna be so hard for them to keep up in transitions, especially in a ho highly populated area where there may be difficult to find parking and you use public transportation where you don't have to worry about parking, you can immediately hop off and, and get uh, to moving on foot while they're trying to find some place to park because they may not have a, a footbound asset with them. So that's basically a cleaning run and making uh, transitions. You want to start a cleaning run a few hours before wherever it is you need to be because it may take that long to get rid of them. It could be a lot quicker. You could, you could lose them at the uh, mall from going one entrance to the next or just using various types of public transportation. If you live in a, a big city where you don't have your vehicle and you're just walk down, get on, uh, you know, flag down a taxi cab at the last minute, jump in it, or flag down a bus and jump in it, you know, or if you're in a vehicle and you, you know, speed up and, and, and it's highly congested, and all of a sudden you jump off on an exit, you know, you may lose them just by that. So cleaning runs can be uh, really successful in, in, in a uh, counter tracking situation. Another thing, if, if you're on foot, you want to make changes to your appearance because, you know, nine times out of ten they're going to after you know they're behind you they're going to pick track you from the clothing you're wearing so make a transition change from like you know if you got a blue jacket on take it off and, and you got a green shirt you know put on a, a baseball cap or if you have a baseball cap on get rid of it just make transition so that way they're like oh we lost you the other thing is, is if you do do that don't be looking back at your tracker because that will they will get a facial recognition and then you're starting from uh point a again so keep keep that in mind be cognizant of that you know like i also said be sure to be careful with your phone uh communications because it, they could have that type of equipment to, to to track you or or pick up your comms the other thing is is be careful with atm and debit cards use cash these are you know off the book transactions cash is a king in that type of situation but also you know in your cleaning runs or your evading process, it's best not to use known associates because they're, they've already got them under surveillance or tracking them. But this is uh, basically just a, you know, techniques in, in counter tracking in an urban environment. We'll go into, you know, counter tracking in a wilderness environment. I'll get out there and actually uh, in the field and actually show you some techniques in the future. But uh, if you like what you've seen, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more information, tips, and tutorials. And as always, thanks for watching.